Welcome to 2022, folks. <laughs> Morning. We're just having fun. If you take stuff too serious, this channel may not be for you, buddy. Holy crap, Ola. I know good and well I ain't the only one who still feels like it's damn early 2020. It's 2022, y'all. We're in the future. We're supposed to have flying cars and stuff. Or something like that. <laughs> yeah, old human race, we're getting there anyhow, aren't we? I don't know about no flying cars. Anyhow, 2022, first and foremost, I want to thank you guys for a uh, terrific, no, spectacular, no, I don't know anything better than that, for a great year of 2021. 2021 was a crazy year, guys. End of 2020, I mean, December time frame 2020. I told my wife, I said, I have so much time invested into YouTube that takes away from me and you, our family, that I'm either going to find a way to make it profitable where it's worth my time, or I'm going to quit. And I asked her to give me a year to do it, see if I could get her done. And guys, thanks to y'all's support, well, let's just say we're getting her dead. We had that conversation December, very end of December uh, last year. I post the will it run on my grandpa's truck, which is a terrible video. I don't enjoy it one bit. <laughs> Next day, old Sir Mordecus called me out for the 2021 burnout challenge, okay? Which they didn't have one this year, did they? And y'all know good and well why, too. It's because last year after me and old Gertrude here just put a whipping on everybody, there wasn't no one out there in the YouTube lands dumb enough to even try again. Mortsky called you out. 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 Damn right, I'm still waiting on my twenty twenty one trophy. Somebody owes me something for putting on that show. We shut them up for 2022 anyhow, because ain't nobody trying to call us out for that mess again. She's a champion, folks. She's champion material. So them two videos together just kind of got the ball rolling for old Puddin's Fab Shop, who'd been grinding it out there for three and a half years on the YouTube. Had 5,000 something subscribers. And when this video posts, we're probably gonna already have broke the 120K right out a year later. So I can't say nothing besides thank you guys because literally I cannot do this without you guys. Hell, about eight months after me and my wife had that conversation, around that time frame, I've, uh, I quit my job I'd been at forever and committed to doing this. And well, that got us into the yeehaw subject and everything else. So just what a, a lot to take in in a year period. And I just hope 2022 is a, a better period now. Speaking of our first video of 2022 and yeehaws, that's what we're going to tinker with today. We are not tinkering with 0.5 because she's on the, uh, she's on my you know what list, okay? So, I don't know if you've seen last week's or the week before's video. Well, whatever week it was, let's just say she was honorary.
I'm fairly certain that right there is supposed to be lined up with uh, that right there. Finally in the end, we got her to bust off, all right? But I don't even want to mess with her right now. I just want her out of my shop. We're gonna protect our holes here anyhow. I am. Um, this, this one's so lucky. It's, it's very fortunate that right now it ain't getting cut in half to become a trailer, which is my plan with it, by the way. Well, you can't cut that truck in half. You should just sell it to me instead of wasting a good truck. I've been looking for one of those everywhere and I can't find it. Now you're gonna cut this one in half? You should just restore that thing back to original. <laughs> and well, we'll invest 10 to 15 grand restoring a truck and when we get done, she'll be worth five, huh? <laughs> Y'all are nuts if you think I'm gonna restore this thing. Cabs rusted, fenders are rusted, fenders are beat up, hoods beat up, front core support caved in, motor needs rebuilt, nothing of this truck. This thing ain't even half of the man that the original Yeehaw is. But when I get done with her, she is quite literally gonna be half of the truck the Yeehaw is. <laughs> And we can't even talk about a Yeehaw trailer if we don't even know our Yeehaw will pull said trailer. So we gotta get the other Yeehaw in tow mode, which means she needs a new one of these, which means I didn't get distracted on getting this thing out of my shop, you guys did. Custom removable paint job. Let's get this pristine door open here. She's the custom flapper edition. She's a trooper. With point five out of the way, we can get 1.0 in. Gotta get old Speedy out the way. Now she's got the electric motor, okay? She's an assist model. But you gotta hit a minimum of three miles per hour before she'll engage. <laughs> changed that thing's name from Speedy to old Willie. We would've took Willie a little further, we would've changed her name to Flatback after we flat backed it on this concrete. Let's see if we can get this old girl running, guys. Uh, I had to rob a couple parts for .5 and just tired of not being able to drive this thing. It's too fun to drive to just have her sitting here. Now, as good as our old tow bar looks, guys, I'm not a fan of it on there. I think it's hideous, so we're going to finally get it pulled off here. Looks like I already unhooked our top quality uh, wiring job there, so just a couple little snips here or there. There we go. Well, she looks about a hundred times better with that off the front. I always like to pull the hood, that way you guys can see what's going on. Now, our distributor, uh, I told you guys I had to rob some parts off this thing. I had actually pulled the distributor out of our good running Yeehaw. As you can tell, I'm totally worried about it. Before I pulled it, guys, uh, I put us a reference mark down here on the body of this thing, and I paid attention to where our rotor uh, was aiming. So right there, I got the black mark on the engine where you can see we need to line our body up to. And our rotor right here, I had that tip just pointing perfectly right at our dipstick. I think I even put a black mark right there where the center pretty well needs to aim right at. Boom! Don't tell me we just hit that first try. Mark down there is lined up. Our center little tooth thingamajigger on our rotor. Dead nuts aimed at our mark. Boom! Boom! I know she's hard to see, but I'm going to get her started down here. Guys, uh, she is going to 
run, no problem. She's gonna bust right back off because we put her right back where she needed to be. And if it don't, we would've always thought it would've. I'm gonna snug her down, or we can adjust on her if we end up having to. So there we go, wham bam. We ain't worried about you, ma'am. And pop our cap back on. Maybe, possibly. Come on, baby. There we go. I'm very sorry to inform you at this time I am going to have to repossess this here coil wire. Thank you. Best hood prop around, folks. Pop her back on. Reconnect our couple of wires here. No big deal. She's basically brand new. As you guys see, I had to add a bolt on this one, okay? So these others are studs. This is a bolt that's pulled all the way through. So before we pull this out, let's give that a little trimming. She could use a little slice and dice in her life. If you catch something on fire, add an air to it. It's probably not going to help it. Continue. <laughs> Welcome to twenty twenty two, folks. <laughs> Let that uh, clear out a little bit, and well, we'll go, we'll go evaluate what just went wrong. <laughs> Long story short, what went wrong was I just uh, cut a piece of metal with a grinder next to a fuel hose, <laughs> and it caught on fire. I'm kind of laughing about it, but it's kind of a serious situation too. At the same time, uh, we could have just burnt this thing to the ground. I wouldn't have took the shop out. I would obviously just pushed her backwards and called the fire department. But that's also why you should keep fire extinguishers. I don't know if this hose popped free. I kind of had it over here kind of pinched off. Uh, but either way, she was leaking just enough where, uh, yeah, that got her. Now, really, the main reason I did this, guys, was I thought the motor would look good yellow. So now, now we've got her yellow, as you can see. This baby is hot. <laughs> You ever get too comfortable doing something and you gotta have that close slip up to kinda kick you in the butt and remind you uh, that you're doing dangerous stuff? I got real bad about not paying attention with that grinder, guys. I've always got gas sitting up here. Most of the time I got gas sitting back here. And not to mention all kinds of other flammable crap all the time. So uh, let's use this as raise fire awareness month from now on here at Puddin's Fab Shop. So every January, we're gonna try to not set something on fire. And I know all you internet experts are gonna talk crap because you ain't ever made a mistake or nothing. I get it, you're perfect out there, all right? Uh, but guys, I, I could push this thing outside right now, clean the shop, rinse this off, let it dry an hour, and y'all wouldn't know any different. I could edit the crap out if I wanted, but I don't give a damn. Uh, like I said, learn from my mistakes. Damn thing about it, we didn't even get our bolt cut all the way before we try to burn her down. So we still need to cut her more. But I think we'll get a different tool. I think we're gonna put up the whole slice and dice here. She threw a little less sparks than that old grinder. Can you tell where she was parked at? <laughs> we about came in with a bang. Coming in hot to 2022. Flame broiled yeehaw. Sometimes you gotta get that little adrenaline rush. <laughs> Hello. I don't hear any uh, fire sirens. No, I got her under control. I'm a trained firefighter. Are you? Yeah. Top quality, first in class. It's good enough, guys. We're going to leave a little yellow on there to remind us to pay attention.
get our Oklahoma special battery tie down here. We gotta be careful of these uh, Oklahoma specials. Uh, the last Oklahoma special about burnt this truck down. We need to remove this. Oh, baby. Just like I suspected. We actually got a little dust down in there, so we need to get her vacuumed out. Today on Putin's Fab Shop, we prove how good and reliable a fire extinguisher is. She worked like a champ and sucked that clean out of there. She looks brand new down in there. Let's spin this baby over. Had a little dust off of her, but we must have done a pretty good job with our air nozzle. We need to get our spark plugs back in her, which I did buy some new spark plugs for her. I robbed two of the spark plugs for Yeehaw .5, so I just decided to put some new ones back in her. Here I am trying to be good to her, and here she is trying to burn down to the ground. Yeah, she was hotter than a two-pecker tomcat. She was the fastest thing around. Get these babies snug. Just beautiful. Get our old gasket off here. We're ready for a new gasket. Let's go look at our new carburetor. And by new carburetor, I mean our third remanufactured one from the O'Reilly's. Okay, so first video, uh, we do this carburetor swap, guys. And I just ordered one in for them. I couldn't get it running right. Now, close to the end of one video, I actually took her for a hot lap round back. Uh, tuned on it now later that evening i tried to come out here start it uh long story short you couldn't tune it because our shaft here for our butterflies uh i ended up discovering well you could take that thing and you could wobble it like nobody's business plum worn out like it needs oversized bushings and it, she needed some attention but it o'reilly's ordered two more in the next one the second one i took out of the box she was just like that just put it right back in this one was sitting there, took it out. She feels pretty good. Uh, definitely better than the other two. So hopefully, possibly, just maybe, we got us a good one. So first we gotta do a little surgery again and uh, remove this electric choke set up. We'll pop a clip there. Pop that clip there. Three screws and that whole little assembly comes off. They make a kit to convert this to manual that I think reconnects our flapper and our flip flopper together and you can manually pull her but we'll get to that depending on how she runs that's a port right there that seals off in there but uh in case we got to return this one again we just put her with the duct tape delete kit just in case the first one we put on there had the wrong gasket for a needle and seat so she'd sit there and flood so i'm just gonna assume we ought to check this one while we're here better than putting it on and off a couple times and or pulling her on top of the engine itself we're gonna give this the blow test blow test is good uh you could hear her seal off. The last one would not do that. Better we do it now than before we get gas involved because we ain't having the best luck with gasoline today. Pop her top back on. Maybe this one will be good to us, guys. She actually says motorcraft on her here. I don't remember our last one saying that, so maybe she'll be good to us. It is not a redneck carb swap without a little tie wire, so... Just for now, we want to get our choke flapper stuck to the open position. Then over here, this likes to flip flop around. So I like to tie wire it together. That way it don't just do the flip flop and whatever it wants. Now 
give that baby one around the world get her tight right down there you'll take them little cutters give her a snip pigtail that baby that way you don't catch her with your thumb and y'all see how my tie wire and my duct tape these are not permanent solutions right now and that's in case we got to return this and go on to lucky number four so hopefully with a little grace from the carburetor gods we're ready to set this baby on get our new gasket on uh flip flop her the right way she pops right on now speaking of gaskets i finally got tired of having to make gaskets for them damn things so i called the o'reilly's and i said hey order me some gaskets so from now on I'm the number one supplier for uh, carb gaskets for them Ford carburetor machines anyhow. At the rate of having to swap a carb on every three days, you can't afford not to keep them damn things. Hopefully this one we gave the slice and dice to will even start. Oh yeah, there she goes. Better start, we almost burnt down the whole rig for you. There we go, got them all snugged. Got us an elbow fitting this time. Guys, if you need a thread tape, which I ain't sponsored, okay, I wish. Uh, Blue Monster, man, this is good stuff. She'll seal. So as I hook this up here, guys, I'm just curious who's got the cojones to say it down in the comments how many people have set their truck on fire because i've talked to two people in the last hour or so who's called me or whatever and both of them went oh you finally set one on fire too i'm talking about like it was no big deal like pfft, about time you try to burn one down i'm just curious who will say it down in the comments have you set a truck or vehicle on fire don't be scared I'm the one who looks like an Ill idiot here on the television. Get our vacuum hooked up here, going down to our vacuum advance. See if we can't pop us a clip on there to hold that. Come on, baby. There we go. Return spring hooks right there. There we go. Get that baby shoved on there. And heck, I think we're good to go. Let's go key on and get the old fuel pump on. She's chugging along. See if she wants to fire up. Yeah, she's already idling. Our exhaust leak is terrible. Well, that ain't no good. She don't want to accelerate. Well, she's spraying fuel, so maybe it was just getting her worked up there. I don't know. Let's see. Fired her up. I was going to try to tune on her. Battery died on the camera. Went to grab a battery. Noticed something. Just a little bit of oil underneath her. No big deal. And uh, our little plastic kit here for our, our oil gauge. Well, she already plumb blew out, as you can see. Ah, looks like she may have got a little hot. <laughs> so we melted that in our quick little fire earlier, it looks like. We ain't gonna catch no break today. Well, we're gonna fold that over for now where we can try to tune on this. I've already got them sending me an oil change because there's a little gas in the oil. Uh, so I'm just gonna have them send one of them too. Well, I can't wait to see what goes wrong next. Thank you. 
I need a stiffer return spring, so we're gonna have to kind of stretch this one out where she's got a little umph on her. We put her in there and I was gonna give her a little more dingaling. Burning this thing down. That don't sound too bad right now, actually. Uh, guys, I can't get it to tune out. It just acts like it's got a vacuum leak. So I check here, I check there. Uh, anyhow, I spray and around the base of the thing, it's gotta be leaking a little bit cause she'll kind of speed up, then idle down, then idle up. Go to snug her down and guess who decides to pull the threads right there. From our drill and tap job, I knew those things weren't the stoutest. So I've been trying to just ease on them, but uh, that's a problem. Take old big girl off there. And yeah, this stud right here, she's pulled. And here's why this is a problem, folks. It's a problem because you can't drill that all the way through because there's a runner right underneath that. I really do not want to pull that intake. I don't want to swap that one because if it's Drilled and tapped the same way, it's eventually going to do the same thing too. Since I've drilled and tapped them things, I've had to play nice with them. I'm kind of, I'm scared to torque them down. So we're going to see if we can redneck our way around this. Drill that baby out. A little tapping fluid. I'm going to try and confirm here that we can actually tighten this bolt up or whatever without pulling threads this old carburetor's just been a can of worms Ugh. all right she'll go snug so now we need a custom stud in there we're gonna thread us a couple nuts onto this baby where it kind of holds it we're gonna bring her to the vise and next we're gonna check our surroundings for gasoline Pull her couple nuts off, take her to the wire wheel. Give her a little bit of that good red stuff. I blew that out, get all the BS out of there anyhow. And I'm gonna run that down. Then I got us two nuts on here. She is pretty snug. I don't know, I'm meant to have a bigger carburetor on it. Every sign's telling me to quit while I'm ahead. Here we go, testing our homemade stud we just put on there. Oh. Guys, I'm not even tightening these things that much. That's the whole bad thing about it. And here we are, except she just broke off down in there now. I drilled a pilot hole down the center of our chunk there, so next I'm gonna snap off our ease out in it. Oh, that's even better. We just smoked the holes on our uh, 11 cent ease out there. Someone had sent us some left hand drill bits, so we're gonna try our luck there. Well, we just snapped her in one good bite. Made her to the hardware store before it closed and I got a symmetric bolt, so I got a plan here. It's not a plan. Let's just say it's a plan. <laughs> Having any kind of plans better what I had better than what I had about 30 minutes ago anyhow. Yeah. She ain't allowed off the grass till we get her a helmet. I have to put a damn 10 inch mud grip on the back of that where she can go off road and Right here we have a premium quality intake, obviously, so we're gonna pull her. And I'm just guessing it's gonna be a pain in the butt to get it off here, considering 
Nothing else has went my way in about a week now. Boy, the amount of crap we robbed off of Yeehaw .25 here. I'm glad we never got rid of this thing. Well, I don't know if they could have used a longer bolt on this baby or what. Holy crap. I was like, oh, I'll just grab an end wrench. It won't be too bad. Damn, should have grabbed the half inch impact in a deep weld. Smoked her out of there. Speedy died. Speedy's dead? Nope. We need to take her to the hospital? Nope. I get these last two bolts out. And maybe we can knock this thing off here. We're going to need something to whoop that with. I like the way you think, baby. You got to stay back. Daddy's used one of these as a hammer before when we were messing with the Caprice. Oh, not the Coca-Cola. <laughs> <laughs> there goes the Coca-Cola. But did it work? Nope. Yep. Did it? It did, right? Yes, did it. Look, guys, this is why you never do it with Coca-Cola. Because that's a bad idea. Ding, ding best camera woman ever uh it did work we just gotta get this one heater hose i think that it was whipped cream we're gonna cut off some of these old hoses there's gonna be a little scraping going on she's a uh, she's real clean and pristine and a little bit of elbow grease once again she may sheen <laughs> no matter how bad my day's going i can still rhyme my plan is to kind of try to get this thing Ready to swap out tomorrow. The O'Reilly's ain't gonna have my gasket for it till in the morning. Uh, so we're gonna clean her up. Then we're gonna get her ready for that old carburetor. <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> Is there something on my glasses? It's a Hawk County Port and Polish. <laughs> 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 Calm it down there. up by the handlebars speedy's high and end came around full momentum motor straight to the ankle bone dropped me like a sack of potatoes show y'all how to make a little tap again uh, i may have slipped and gave her a wider slice than i meant to but should be all right a little drop of looby dooby. We can't afford to mess these threads up. I'm going to go ahead and hit some of these with the looby doo because we may swap them out tomorrow for better ones. What are we doing next, Hot Rod? Mm -hmm. Building custom studs. Lovely. So we're going one mega gasket. One spacer. That's an inch and nine sixteenths. That's half an inch. Because our first set of custom studs just turned out so good, we definitely should build another set. So we gave these little things a little slice and dice and a little bevel. We're just going to kind of butt them up and we got her in the angle iron trough here. That way she kind of stays straight anyhow. We're gonna give them a little weld job. Hopefully we do a better weld job than we did on our last one. 
So he's welded up now. Will that go through there? Damn near. So we're gonna let that cool off. We're gonna have to grind her a little smooth, but uh, that's basically it. I'm gonna whip out the other three. She's rude. She's crude. Um, being completely honest, my give a damn factor's about ran out. She fits through there. That's all that matters. Get old big mouth there. And uh, someone measured wrong because we're gonna need some uh, washers here. <laughs> Looks like it's gonna take about five washers and then our lock washer there. Be even more if we do get a thinner gasket. So that was real good going on my paying attention there. I'm gonna see if I can torque these because I'm telling y'all every time I try them other ones, I could, I could tell they were about to pull. Look who can actually uh, tighten up some nuts here. So I give a damn if we got to put 20 washers on there. Uh, intake gasket be here in the morning. I'll be here in the morning. Uh, now this don't, this ain't guaranteed to fix our problem and get us running smooth, but uh, we'll almost be back to where we kind of started this morning anyhow. We'll try again. Here we go with the new day. I may uh, watch back a little footage from yesterday. We had a decent little fire going. <laughs> yes, sir, we did. We're gonna see if we can't get uh, this intake pulled off. Get our bolts pulled on the old intake manifold. Gaskets did come this morning, by the way. Be our last one right there. Don't worry about all that coolant. Should be fine. Get our couple hose clamps right here. There we go. Now we are gonna try to swap out some of our fittings here. We're gonna start with this goofy Christmas tree. Boy, look at that thing. She's got a port, a nipple, and a doohickey for every which situation you could ever think of. Having pretty good luck with our old Pot County speed wrench. Last but not least, we're going to get our water outlet. Maybe. Cut! Oh yeah. Alright. Give these pieces old swap a rooney. I'm going to hit these with a little bit of that good blue stuff also. Yeah. Oh, that baby is ready to come out. She didn't fight me one bit. Guys, I'm mainly pulling these because inside of these, uh, I rested up pretty good on our parts rig here or parts mat, whatever, you know what I'm saying. They're rested inside, they're pretty good. You know, it's also good we've kind of swapped these out, guys, because all that does, it leaves us with an extra one of these. And you never know when you're gonna run a vehicle where you need the option for about 12 vacuum accessories. Apparently the alternator bracket holds our gasket. We're gonna pop her loose. Get old reliable out of there. Kinda get our gasket lined up here. And believe it or not, that alternator bracket will actually kinda hold that there in place where we can maybe snug those down by hand. Oh, looky there. Get us one bolt started here and get us two bolts started. Got one started. Come on, baby. Come on. All of our bolts are started, so we're gonna wiggle in daddy long neck here and get on this bottom one. There we go. I'm gonna run these all down, kind of a star pattern, and then go back and torque them. 
Got all of our bolts torqued down. Guys, I was able to break torque on all of these and the one behind the shop or whatever with uh, our little, uh, boy, I can't talk today. What I'm trying to tell you is they don't have a whole lot of torque on them if you can break them free with that. Now I'm gonna reattach everything, which ain't a whole lot of stuff, guys. So let me get her buttoned up and uh, we'll get back on the old carb situation. Probably a good thing we did this because it's supposed to get down to like 12 degrees all day tomorrow. So give us a good reason to put some more uh, antifreeze in her anyhow. Just ran around like a chicken with its head cut off all over town. And uh, nobody has the little thin gaskets for these in stock, but I did find a carburetor kit anyhow. So lucky there. Wham, bam, exact match, baby. So let's go paper gaskets. You know what I didn't go get? About 3,000 washers. Ran up to the hardware store. Just bought us a couple bolts here where we don't have to use our custom studs. These three, we managed to get a bolt in. Back here we got the custom stud with about 1,300 washers. She snug like a bug in a rug. I smoked them bolts harder than a, I smoked the whole engine yesterday. <laughs> I don't know I smoked them that good. I do believe that's the first time we've had that carburetor, I mean, tight. I think we're all put together. I got a vacuum gauge right here, uh, sitting on our intake manifold. Uh, one other thing I changed, the fuel supply here, I got it going into a T now, going to our carburetor. And this return right here, uh, we hooked her up. I don't know this is gonna work, but here's what I'm thinking. This restricts flow, so that should still let that fill up the bowl. And then uh, instead of this deadheading, if we're not using that much fuel sitting there struggling, it should let some of it go back through there. It'll work or it won't. It don't hurt to try. I think we're ready to fire this thing up again. Hurt near ready anyhow. We better keep some of this on old stealthy standby. Carburetor's junk, guys. I don't even have it like returned home all the way. As soon as I try to pull it back all the way, it'll just die. The only way this thing will stay running is if you just leave her cranked up like that. There ain't no tuning on it. The mixture screws were bottomed in, okay? I backed them out, trying to mess with timing, trying to mess with it. I'm telling you guys, as soon as you pull back on that thing and get her closed all the way, she's gonna die. She ain't tunable. those for you you might as well wipe your butt with them throw them in the dumpster put them in the landfill they're much more useful there rotten than you selling them to consumers i'm chasing my hind end on this thing and i should have known better okay because we know these things are going to be trash reman through there uh but anyhow i'm trying to make sure this thing's sealing sealing uh vacuum leaks making sure uh, questioning my time and everything, guys. And I just unbolt this piece of trash and I bolt on the one I rebuilt for 0.5 the other week. And boom, fires right up. Trash, trash, trash. No, that's not too much carburetor for this thing, guys. Several people have done that swap. The problem is, those are trash. On the bright side, this thing's firing up.
parking brake. Let's go old Torola for the assist, baby. to be able to grab second but you know what after the whippings we've been taking we'll take anything we're gonna call that a victory oh yeah she's blowing some tire off she got a little smoky in here anyhow she wasn't no burnout like the old truck did but we'll take her by god because i'm tired of getting whooped so it's nice to just whip them tires so we're supposed to be leaving for the new year's party like now which means they're waiting on me and I'm out here doing this. Uh, we'll be back on this thing tomorrow. At least give y'all some kind of plan. Maybe once I figure out a plan. Because damn, I don't know a plan. I know I know what I want to do with that old carburetor though. That old O'Reilly special. O'Reilly's, if you guys want to sponsor me, we can still talk about this and we can work it out. <laughs> I'm still going to use y'all. I just probably won't buy a reman carburetor again. Nice cold morning. Oh, magic! Crazy how a decent carburetor will just let it run. Uh, let's change the oil on this old girl. Before we change the oil, I did take this for a down and back yesterday, and she is still slower than a slippery slug going uphill in a rainstorm, okay? She's bad, so I ain't gave up on the old carburetor dreams yet look what we got sitting right here uncle rick brought me this one as a core uh now are we gonna have better luck with her well we're damn sure about to find out i'm gonna blow this baby apart we're gonna get her in the old hot tank so i have that carburetor kit that we purchased yesterday just for the base gaskets i don't know that that's exactly for this but i'm just making the assumption because the Sumin's got me this far, <laughs> that we can make her work. We're gonna start with our classic choke delete kit here. Damn Uncle Rick's the real MVP around here. I couldn't do my channel without him. <laughs> spiders no biggie i think we have a chance of having uh decent luck here guys i think the problem with the uh the o'reilly specials are that they plumb take them things 100 percent apart and i think where all these shafts are going back in and everything i think that's where those stay leaking at i don't think they're sealing up around there so we're not going to take this one that far apart which means hopefully they don't leak around there and just maybe we can get this thing to run and then if I can't get it to run, I guess I owe O'Reilly's an apology. And I may not owe them an apology anyways because uh, I don't claim to be a carburetor guy, so I'm not going to sell remanned carburetors, okay? So. We're going pine saw in here, okay? Now I know they say do a 50-50 or so. Uh, how about 100%? Now, I was real smart and forgot to clean this thing uh, before I put the first bottle in. So we've already got some nice floaters in there, so that's good. Uh, but if 100% don't clean her, 50-50 never would have. See if the kit we have at least has this gasket or not. Dang, Uncle Rick! I didn't get distracted. You guys did. Uh... Thing's got a super clean bowl in it. She's ready. This thing's ready to run. Damned old power valve. What kind of metering rod you got? Size jet you running? J 
you port and polish them primaries and secondaries, you got them CFMs flowing. Oh, bingo, baby. Looky there. She'll run. Uh-huh. Just what I expected. Can't tell you guys what I expected. Can't give away all my secrets. There's a secret about carburetors. I don't know a damn thing about them. I can tell you this one looks like it was at, on fire at one point on the inside and brake clean don't take off dead spiders. There's my knowledge about carburetors. There you go. Have a little bath. Damned old pokey stick in there. Jets are a slightly different size. One says 55, I think one says 57. Right in there, we're gonna hit them with the big hunker. Oh yeah, pull the needle out right there. She's pretty dang clean. Got her pulled out. Uh-huh. Little check ball came out of there, I think right down in the middle. That's where we're gonna put her back anyhow. <laughs> Pull your four screws, tap, tap. By golly, there's your damned old power valve. <laughs> Get your Pot County speed wrench. Pop that baby loose. The cover was already pretty well pulled off for our old uh, accelerator pump here. So we just need to pull this little rubber flapper red button, whatever, out of there. We're gonna kinda spray her off, and other than that, she's ready for a hot tanking. Now she can sit there and do her thing, and now we can change the oil on old Yeehaw. There we go. There comes all of our gas field oil from uh, the first leaking carburetor. Well, that's why it wouldn't run. Damn oil filter's got a hole in it. Top off the oil change. Now I did swap out our little plastic hose that we burn up. Or maybe we can read some oil pressure again. And as you see, I pulled the uh, factory carburetor back off of her. We're sitting all right over here. Uh, she don't fit the best, so I'm just kind of flip-flopping her and turning her. We'll do her a quarter at a time. We ain't scared. Is it cold, baby? Yeah, it's cold, ain't it? Guys, I will say this is about as simple as a carburetor if I have ever seen. I mean, there, there ain't a whole lot going on inside of these things. Got our tie wire on there, making that one piece. We do got the choke tie wired open. Now as far as this little port over here, I dug through my stuff, guys. And one of these little screws that's kind of got the little, uh, I don't know, it's from like a furniture set or something. Put a little thread tape on her and ran her down in that port where maybe it'll seal it off good. Let me get this baby thrown on. Do y'all see that? She took a little bit of tuning, just, you know, messing with the idle and whatnot. Guys, it just feels more powerful off the pedal, I'm telling you. Woo! All she needed was that Uncle Rick special. Guys, we're gonna put one of these chrome jobbers on her, the old Mr. Gasket Deluxe, right on top of the Uncle Rick special for maximum horsepower. Our all thread is the wrong size, no big deal. We got a bolt right there that uh, tightens down in there. And we are just gonna take our all thread and right at that tape line, and we're gonna give her a slice and dice. Gasoline check. <laughs> There's actually a little left in there, but that O'Reilly's carburetor, we can burn her down. We ain't even worried about it.
Then we're going to hit this with a little tacky tack. This damn thing ain't ran right since we've done the carburetor swap, which has been a good little bit, guys. So I'm pretty excited right now. And I'm ready to drive this thing. Thread her in. Oh, baby. There we go. Chrome unit clears. Who wants to know the new top speed? I was in a damn t-shirt yesterday. Now we've got ice coming, we got snow. It's damn 12 degrees out here. Well, it'd be nice if this baby worked and would give me some heat. Better not get too damn picky. I'm just happy it's running again. She's warmed up, good oil pressure. Here, oh, there's a truck there, don't back into that. Guys, you cannot see deadly out of these little box trucks. I'm telling you right now, before we get going too far here, let me pull up the old GPS speedometer. I definitely should have brought my glasses because I can't see deadly. The fastest I've got it to hit on here is 69 miles per hour. So I'm going to take her the exact same route because I know where I hit that 69 at. And we're going to see if we can hit a new speed. This used to be the only bar we had in town and they shut her down. trying to beat 69 miles per hour oh she's a ripper folks you don't want this problem she's got too much uh too much on the line to lose fifth gear right there baby we can't beat the 69 oh we hit 70 watch out we, we, we beat the 69 by one, but uh, I really was expecting better than that. So I'm kind of disappointed, guys. Uh, now, she is peppier, but I really thought we'd squeeze more out of the top end on her. Now, on the bright side of things, one, she's running. I mean, she's running good. Idles down good, feels good. So now we've got a a baseline to go with on finally having one of these damn carbs swapped on here. We kind of went one step forward, about 35 steps back, and now we're kind of going forward again, which is solid. Had to come check on Uncle Rick, make sure he didn't smoke himself out of shot. And she sat out here and pulled off in this nice freezing weather, and boy, she just busted right back off. We may finally have a good little running rig here. The boys are back in town. The boys are back in town. She gonna die on me? No, she good. This baby's hopped up and I only race for pink slips. So who wants, uh, with our tall box, this baby's a drifting machine. You load her up with some body roll, you'll kick her sideways. I am just happier than a possum eating poo poo right now. Go! Oh. Go! Oh. Go! Oh. God bless America! <laughs> My door latch got me. Uh, I'm happy for a couple of reasons. One, because I didn't just die. Two, because that carburetor swap took so damn long to finally get it where it's drivable that I'm just happy to be able to drive the old Yeehaw again. And then three, other than setting a truck on fire, we're off to a good start in 2022. And I know that because we got some vehicles coming in uh, along, along the same kind of lines of stuff we've had coming in. So, so I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, Go easy on me in the comments on the fire. <laughs> uh, merchandise, we've got it up. We got more shirts coming in stock. Not the greatest design. Anyways, guys, www.puddingslabshop.com. We are trying to get really going on the merch this year. So thank you guys for the support we've had with it. And uh, we look forward to cranking out more stuff this year. And 
I will see you guys next time. It may be a new year, but that old saying ain't changed one bit. Don't forget, sitting on your ass won't finish your project. And sometimes your project's something as simple as doing a carburetor swap that turns into a whole month long ordeal before you finally get it right. But you just gotta keep after it. You'll get her dead. Oh, hello, I didn't see you there, sorry. As I enjoy this cool, refreshing fresca, enjoy these good moments from 2021. Push me up by the tree. Oh, I'm gonna have a back lift. You keep smacking me. Get all that out of you. This old Clyde Smith, the Clyde Smith Liquid Transport baby and the boys over at Puddin's Fabrication Shop, they called me and they said, Clyde, we got a load that needs towed. And I said, I'll do it. And they said, I know you will. There's one stipulation in this situation. And I said, what that be? And they said, there ain't no brakes on this rig. And I said, that ain't no problem. And I said, does it got a chrome stack? And they said, no. And I said, well, shit, then send it back because you know good and well Clyde Smith don't tow with no chrome stack, baby. Come on! Come on! Stop. Stop. No, you listen to me. All your life, all your life, people's talk down on you okay nobody's believed in you nobody and this is your chance okay this is your chance to prove them wrong right here this baby and making great fishing wagon stabbing cabin dragon wagon shagging wagon napping wagon kid having grocery packing never slacking automobile that wasn't smart <laughs> I guess we'll just sit here, drink beer, and look pretty. Knock if you buck, boys. Jamaican bobsled team. She's a two-door hardtop that's ready for a cruising, and she's got a big back seat that's ready for a bruising. I've about got this baby where I can Miley Cyrus it and come in like a wrecking ball. Well, YouTube don't play that good. Not yet, anyhow. Woo! Gotta do some driving, folks. Oh, sweet baby, look at them colors just pop. What'd you say? You want your wood grain? There it is. All right. That's a damn good example, ain't it? I don't know, hell. Picture this with me. It's a day similar to today, just hotter than hell. You walk outside, big stretch. Oh, I was gonna work, but instead I think I'll take my old pickup to the lake to relax. You hop in your pickup and you're just driving. Don't mind that old hood that don't close, you know? She's sticking up 10 inches. We got bungee cords. It'll be okay. You get to the lake. Of course, the first thing you wanna do is set up your little campsite. So you grab that lawn chair out of the back of that truck and you just give her a whip. 
Next, you grab that handle that pulls sideways and you lay that old tailgate down because you want to get your matching Coleman out of the back. Set that Coleman next to you. Why don't you open her on up and get you a Colt Brewski out of there? Pop that baby open. Why don't you kick them legs back and just relax? Hmm? 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 I know y'all can see it. No floors? No problem. No front clip? No problem. No junk in the trunk? No problem. No doors? No problem. <laughs> no longer shall man tell animal what to do. Hashtag rats have rights. As CEO at FIDA, I will only take 89% of your generous donation of $47 a month. Breaking news, everyone. Hi, I'm Kate Bryan from News 9. Will Hop legend Will Hop Wilma has been located. After a little investigating, we were able to track down her old head mechanic and team captain, Dale Shitsbed. Yeah, that's a problem. Pimp down all the way. Turn in my coat. I'm done. Come on. Oh, I hope that was on camera. <laughs> oh, I'd make a snow angel, but I need a real one right now. Please send them one down. Please. Hot damn. Here we go with another good one. Hello. In the field, the shitter's clogged. <laughs> breaker, breaker, four, nine, come on. This here's the pudding tang, that's my name. Anybody out there, come on. Breaker, breaker, four, nine, anyone live, come on. Hello, this is pudding, is anyone out there? Hello, anybody read me? Anybody read me at all? Alpha, Bravo, Delta, Charlie, Foxtrot. We got anybody out there on the old radio? You can call me the rubber duck. Come on. Come in, come in, come in. Hello, hello, anyone on the radio? Boy, I'm glad I ain't stranded on a damn desert island with this thing. Is there anybody out there? I wouldn't reply to my singing neither, hell. I better go snatch my wife up. She's supposed to be out here. <laughs> Don't worry. I got her. No. On something like this, I like to at least sketch me down a little to the design. Actually, I like to get pretty precise on something like this. So previous calculation, and I think, I think we're ready to make some greatness happen. I think it's done. But here's what we got. Pretty happy with that, guys. Uh, I know it's not the most realistic because I got my favorite grinder. You can obviously see I put a new cutoff wheel on there and, well, my grinder don't have a new cutoff wheel, so it's not very realistic. But I did get the hat and glasses at least. Guys, I think we can run with that. What do you think? Sometimes you gotta kick your old feet up and just take in all your hard work. Are you kidding me? You're not ready. We gotta go. All right. Embarrass me in front of my friends. Okay. Yes, ma'am. I said yes, ma'am. I tell you how beautiful you look today. Yeah. You look lovely. Hi. I figured that may motivate you to get the hell off there. 
with your small monthly contribution of just 14 cents a day, $42 a month, 144 pennies a day, just 63 cents a day, $13,000 annual subscription. Sign up for our retirement plan where it pulls out of your social security when you retire. Don't sweat it, you can donate with your credit. Just 39 cents a day, you can help save these animals and also make my personal pocket a little fatter. Believe it or not, I actually have a tool that's made for taking old vinyl tops off the roof of cars. She answered. <laughs> oh, he's got her now. Keep going. The PB blast on that ass. A little more luby on that booty. A little more PB on that high knee. Give her the old whirly twirl with the Harbor Freight Special. We got a winner! You get that mullet in that wheel, you're gonna know it, buddy. Oh, yeah. Get that mullet in <laughs> It's magic! Don't freeze! Peasants and squanderers now entering King Dutson. For who is the fullest of shit in all of the lands? For it is the king with Mount Cardmore on a staff in his hand. <laughs> I spent entirely too much time doing this. This is this is getting ridiculous, y'all. All right, tired of being called the Dutson King. I'm gonna have my buddy Dale give her the once over so we can see, you know, what all we really need to fix. Hi, I'm Dale of Dale's Inspection Services, all that and more LLC located right here in Pot County, Oklahoma. Had to clean her up with the fresh pressure washing. Snakes, rats, ants, I think I seen a possum. She looks pretty good, but she ain't no Dotson. Selling cars and rapping, I think I missed my calling. Our pick went away. <laughs> Look at the steam engine stinking in here like it. Look at that stuck this garage up. Bucket of boats. Yeah. That's what it is. Look at it. What do you think about that, Danny? She's running. Yeah, she's running on. Well, I don't know about that. That looks like she's about to bucket of boats around here. I look like I'm gonna check around here and see the boats are at. <laughs> I can't throw them old boats myself, you know what I mean? <laughs> what are them boats out? I just threw them out the door, they won't hurt it. <laughs> <laughs> Leg She'll run. She's a propane unit, okay? But this ain't what we're here to see, folks. She's up she's up over yonder on the hill. How it's loose, I don't know, because that's the exhaust stack. <laughs> and uh the rain is just Oh well, if we get this one fired up, she's just gonna shoot water. This is too good. Y'all come on down to Yee Hall where you can haul it yourself. Yee haul by pudding. <laughs> she definitely needs some front shocks, but at least the horn works. <laughs> Hot damn! you wonder how we got here huh well don't speak just listen boy have I got a story for you guys <laughs> the story of a man who's made a mess over the last two days 
and is defeated. The story of a man who thought he knew just what this 2.3 needed. The story of a man who thought these yeehaws could be fleeted. The story of a man who filled engines with trans fluid till they puked and they sheeted. Ah, <laughs> oh, damn it. Hey, got on her with the pry bar and let's just say she, uh, she gave. And when she did, I just got a face full of vinegar and rust and whatever else came out of that old cylinder. I believe this is a perfect opportunity to talk to you about these TKO hand lights from Sweet Patina. Bye, Felicia.